Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 58 of Let's Play Minecraft and today we're going to play with reactors, a bit of reactors and a bit of everything actually. Uh, we're going to move our mass fab etc upstairs for a bit and uh, I have a surprise for you guys. Oh, uh, somebody voted. I wonder if Meltdown was even on right now. Uh, yeah. And, uh, okay, so, uh, oh yeah, I needed glass fiber. I was thinking I was going to need more glass fiber, but I don't actually need it right now. Uh, so I have a surprise for DJ Brooks. If you're actually somehow watching this all the way to episode 58, which, brother, keep up the good work, um, yeah, I have to thank you for letting me sort of steal some of your power for a while now. <laughs> uh, I had to, man. I mean, come on, you had too much power to yourself. Uh, so uh, let's go up here and uh, let's go ahead and check out what we have here. We need to get a wrench actually. We could probably go like this, keep the lossless mode on. So basically I'm going to move some machines up here. I'll just move the couple of them for now and we'll deal with the others later. Uh, let's go to the wrench here. And so, yeah, pretty much uh, I've been working hard, as you know, uh, working on getting uh, everything up. By the way, the sounds are kind of low at times, aren't they? I like to put them a little higher, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, you're here to listen to me more than walking steps. But uh, basically, this is the design. Hopefully, this works out. Uh, <laughs> if not, we're screwed. Hey, Electro, uh, do... I need to give a sig. Oops. Okay, so that's good news. Uh, so what I can do then, if you need a signal, uh, we're going to go over here and actually put this on right now. Shift right click. And we're going to make the fuel cells. These are going to be the quad fuel cells. So we're going to type in quad and here they are. And we have our suit on just to double check. Yes, we do. Here we go. So there's one stack. There we go. And then I can say something stupid like, damn. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to jump up here and we're going to go like this and then you'll see these auto fill in the reactor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all we want to make sure. There's seven there, so that's good. And there you go. And then on these ones, they're just filtered with crap right now, but later on, when I have a depleted quad cell, I will also uh, set that there. So that's all we're doing basically is putting these in here and making sure they're set. And then I'll double check to make sure. Uh, oops, they're on this side. There we go. I might put speed upgrades in these just to make sure they go in faster so we don't have to like have them slow down. It's not a big deal. They'll be pretty much always full. I guess it isn't a big deal, but it's kind of, you know, them slowly coming in might be a little weird at times, but, but yeah, that is awesome. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then a seven. So, four and three. That's a good way of looking at it. 
something just so I kind of remember to look at it. Uh, four and three, four and three, four and three, and then of course we already saw this one, four and three. Okay, so uh, no more uranium on us. Okay, there you go. And we'll go around and move the mass fab up here. And we got the cable already hooked up, so this will get that going. Which I'm looking forward to. So, uh, let's start with this, I guess. So, uh, how do we want to do this? I guess at first we could take out the wiring here. Well, that takes out the wire fast. There you go. And then... There you go. And then, how are these? Are these done? I just wanted these to empty out, so... There you go. And then we'll take these out. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. There we go, and then I guess we could take this out, and then ta -da. we'll take all this up, but I'll do that off camera probably. Just make sure there's no other stuff here. Oh yeah, and then I'm going to take, actually I want this, I want all this gone because I'm going to take this stuff. Now you can, I'm going to do it properly, but uh, I know these work fine without using a wrench, but I'm just going to use a wrench because sometimes I go paranoid, but I'm pretty sure this entire mod, Advanced Solar Panels, uh, can be taken out just by breaking them with a pick, which is kind of interesting. It's always been that way. And uh, yeah, I think the other mod, the CPWs, I think his could be done with a pick too. And I think because of that, everyone else did it after that just because they didn't want, you know, people accidentally doing it with these ones. I don't know, something like that probably. So, now that we have our power coming in, uh, which will come in decently, we want to put our mass fab somewhere. And then, of course, we're going to want to hook it up with all the fun stuff. So, I have to decide where I even want it, to be honest. I might go over here somewhere. Um, and then we'll want to set up the recycler and etc. So, let's say here. And uh, this might be like a good spot where maybe we'll end up in the, uh, the scanner or something over there too over time. We'll see. But, um, hmm. I'm actually considering something different here. We could put out the, put the wire on the ground actually. Can this... Really, you can... That's it, it just disappears? What the hell? <laughs> I was trying to hit the wire, but I guess the wire doesn't break, but instead the roof breaks. I'm actually reconsidering uh, putting this in the ceiling later, but let's pretend we're not right now anyways. Oh wait, can't you just click this or no? You have to put the CF foam on it itself, so. Oh, crap. I didn't want it on the roof, did I? I wanted it down here in the floor near the piping on top. Yeah. Well, I'm making a mess, I guess. Should do it in the back wall here. That'll work for me. There you go. And no, you probably would want it down one, no? Yeah, you probably would want it down one. I was thinking I could put the solar panels across here, but probably not. Leave them at that way, anyways. Okay, so we could put the recyclers here. And uh, let's see here. 
And I'll probably have them come out here, more wiring of whatever needs I need over time. There you go. Perfect, okay. And then we'll put the recycler, we'll start here, work our way, and let's do something about solar panels. Uh, let's see here, I could always put them over here for fun, just hanging here. Doesn't matter. <laughs> just for now. Okay, there we go. So we should have power right now, which we do. And this will start running, of course, because of those solar panels, which, you know, remember, they're decent power anyways, so they will work really well. And, uh, okay, so we got that going, got that going. I think we're pretty much ready to pipe out some of this yummy stuff, but I think we're going to switch into Ender I.O. conduits, honestly, for better performance on the server. Ender I.O. They're called item ducks, I think, or something. I gotta look them up, but they were really expensive. Item conduit. But they will probably work better than... Ooh, we have a bunch already. Nice. They'll probably work a lot better. We have a mod um, uh, uh, add-on called Headcrumbs, and it's just like people who spawn, but it's like Passion and Electro, and it, they're not actually killing them, by the way, but it just looks that way, so it's kind of like funny. I think this should work, I hope. You know, this might not work for one thing, actually. Hmm. I just realized I'm going to have problems with one thing just because of the way I grab it. I don't know if I can use this with the world interaction upgrades or not. Probably not. Uh, let's see if we have a bucket of lava, etc. Lava. And then a bucket of water. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know where to put these right now because I don't. Hmm, somewhere it won't be too messy. And probably not right beside it either. What's under here? Let's do it right here then. This is a bad idea. We need to, there you go, get something under here. I was going to say dirt, but this will work, I guess. There you go. So one of these will have to be uh, something like that, I guess. There you go. And then, so one will be lava, one will be water, and one will be this transfer pipe. Now this is where I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Something a little different. I don't think it will work, but I want to try it out anyways to see what happens if you try to place something else on top. Um... There they are. It's like, isn't there pipes here? Oh, that does not work on that. Okay. I was hoping it would, but it doesn't seem to work that way. So at that point, you're probably better off to use the transfer pipes to go like this and fill these up. Darn it. I was hoping for something a little better than that, but we might not be able to. Um, transfer got lots of them here oh and you know what we should probably make a saw 
I don't think we, oh, we do have those. I guess the other ones work. Okay. And let's go ahead and get a cobblestone. I want this pattern from chisel. Yeah. Is this the same one as our floor? I think so. And then we're going to use this and we're going to make something called a micro block, I believe. Yep. There you go. Oh crap. I didn't mean to do that many. Oh, those are at the flattest or smallest. And this will kind of clean it up to get rid of the lava on the floor. So you can go like this. And you can go like this. And then... There you go. And that way you can't walk into there accidentally and you'll be safe. And is this actually uh, putting them in? Probably not. Actually, no, it's not. So I have to figure out why it's not. Uh, that's probably why. I wonder if you can do, hmm, an N out, hmm. I have an idea of changing this up just a bit to something more interesting. It might even perform better putting it in a chest buffer than that. I'm probably making this up, but I like to try it anyway, so let's give it a try. It'd be a little funner anyways, and if it does cause problems, we'll get rid of it later on. But the idea is we take this out. And these will load everything else, but this can't keep up actually. I forgot about that. But yeah, this can't keep up because you need speed upgrades. Uh, let's see what this, the cost is and we'll determine if we want to keep them like that. It might be fun, it might not. That's actually pretty cheap. How much do these can? Max upgrades, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, I don't know if we can afford these. These redstone torches can be pretty expensive. But I'm kind of curious to see. There you go. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and have fun here and put 10 in each of these now. And 10 in this one. And this one, there you go. So these ones are pretty much done. Now let's try upping the speed of this as fast as possible. No, or yeah. Oh, it only has the one on there right now. In and out. In and out. And uh, see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's fast. I feel like that might be a little better performance. I don't know, but it'll be fast anyways. And uh, it looks kind of cool. You use like a dirt chest, honestly. But uh, yeah, that keeps it full now. And there you go. And this is running nonstop. Now these will get powered pretty much better than this just because of the style of how it all works. Uh, so let's see here. Now that we have all this done, we pretty much can enable the nuclear reactors, I guess. We need to get levers on them all. And then we're done pretty much. So, lever. Now you could do like a big ass redstone contraption if you want to, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, I think it's going to be safe, anyways. There you go, 420. That's what we wanted. Oh. I probably should have checked this one too. Make sure it was at 420. Yep. There you go, 420. As long as you see 420, that is the, the proper setting, so 
420. There we go. We, we're done. Now this thing's probably eating scrap faster than... Oh, no, look at it. It's going really good. Look at it. Isn't that ridiculous? Boom. Boom. That is ridiculous. Scrap's not going to keep up now. So now I'm going to go and do on purpose, and I'll build them off camera. But I'm going to finally add some more recyclers. <laughs> too much of you okay so yeah we're we're golden here this is rocking and uh, I should probably seal in all these glasses but this is you know as as good as it gets I guess uh, who's you 420 times 6 Okay, so, uh, glass, so we need to get our special glass here. Wait, shouldn't we have more? Oh, it's not called that, um, under IO. It's like quartz something anyways. Blast resistance infused, oh. Really? We only had three left on here? Eh, whatever. I'll deal with that later. I'm not, I don't actually need it or care that much to uh, even be bothered by it, to be honest. So, how's my inventory looking? We can dump most of this? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, moving on. Bees are going pretty good. We've been still going, actually, we just, oh no, there's a couple there. We've been basically going through all our combs. Wow, our chest here is full finally. Uh, so we can go ahead and just get rid of these. Now some of these I think you can repol, like the propolis, I think you can do it again, but... Does he mean me or somebody else? I don't know what they're talking about. Apparently not about me though. I'm not good enough to talk about it, but there you go. And then the honey is doing well. So honey is for our framey thingy mobopers that we were talking about before that we're gonna need uh, for our bees. Um, the alveris, alveris, alveri, alveris. I'm so bad with words. And I actually wanna work on some of those now actually. So uh, scented, blah, 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 paneling. We needed something ridiculous, like 260 or something. We're going to need a lot of wood, etc. So this is the design. It has to be done in the carpenter. And I'm pretty sure it was honey it required, right? Yeah, so this is when you take your honey. And this is, is it actually, oh no, this propolis actually fills up over time. So, I mean, just, you know, getting rid of this. But it, it's slow. It's not so slow that I don't, you know, I got this from two stacks of propolis that I jammed up with it. So at that point, it was like, you know what, I don't mind jamming it up. Uh, ooh, that's a cool bug. So you can put the carpenter on here and just basically dump that puppy inside there, which it didn't drop much because those are resonant uh, tanks and they, you know, hold a ridiculous amount. So we need wood basically or panels. Now, oh, actually, you know what? We have that. Hmm. So that might actually work pretty good. I need to go out of forest and cut some more wood or something. Uh, oak, oak, wood. Yeah, oak wood planks, right? I like how it just doesn't want to, whatever, doesn't want to play along. So, uh, let's see here. These go up here. Boom, boom, boom. 
and these are pretty much the biggest ingredient out of this entire thing and then you need beeswax and pollen cluster and of course the royal jelly now don't be so jelly about it that was lame uh yeah so beeswax one two three four and then the royal jelly one two and then the one two so we got enough to make a few of these over time uh this is not enough for one run but i'm just going ahead and putting it in right now and then there you go so bees boom 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 and then this was it yeah there you go and that'll make our panels which like i said before we need quite a few panels so this is actually going to be quite a little lengthy process to uh, get this all done but uh, there, there's one center panel, and I need 216 center panels. So you can just imagine that's a that's a, quite a bit. Uh, I was too tired to do math today, so let's do this. 3.3 stacks worth. So it gives you an idea, and that'll be our first that we can make, which is cool. Um, I'm surprised we've gone so far in bees. I'm usually not really, you know. These days I don't touch bees much. I probably wouldn't do it again, but I've had fun doing them. So I, I'm not mad by it or anything like that. I've actually enjoyed them quite a bit. So looks like CF foam is uh, one of our low items again. Clay is in there. Just doesn't like to show up. This is basically how I've been. Uh, I have two CF foam packs. I don't think you guys were around uh, when I did that. I got lazy and made a secondary CF foam pack. Just because I could. Um, oh, now it's nighttime. Let's see uh, how this is working without. Uh, so these are catching up now, or about roughly at the middle. It's amazing, though, how fast these are. These kind of come out slow, but I think they're just enough to keep up, though, without putting upgrades in them. And yeah, the solar panels probably have no power in them, I'm assuming, besides the 64 at night. So basically, you can get an idea of like how fast this is still going. We've done already 174 millibuckets. That's pretty damn insane at nighttime. Isn't that ridiculous, that progress? Wow. So that shows you the power of the reactors, and they're going to last for a very long time because, you guess what? We got 403 there, I guess. That's a lot. So let's see. Calculate. Um, what is it? 403 divided by 7 divided by 6. So 9, almost 10 runs. I'll have definitely more than 10 runs worth in there. So in, in a, like a half a week or so, yeah, I will be out of energy. But these babies would have had a really good run over that time. So... It'll be pretty awesome. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I might play around with another mod. It's uh, it's IC2 nuclear react nuclear control. I'll probably do it off camera because I haven't played it a long time ago, and I'll just explain it to you after, um, just because of the nature of the mod and you know how long it's been, and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, let's go get some of that CF foam just to show you. I don't know if I've ever done the wiring for you guys or showing you it so it'd be just cool to show you how that goes that's my glass machine here you go so this is what I do basically I put this in here except usually I have some overclockers in here to make it worthwhile there you go it actually keeps up pretty well and then let's go up to the top here There you go, and uh, there you go. I don't, I don't want to bury that. I might bury it later on, anyways. But for now, I'd just rather do that. Hopefully, that buried that outer side. There you go. I kind of like it exposed, to be honest. That's why I just didn't really care for it right now. And then for the top part, it'll be easier if we put this on and. We don't have to do scaffolding here, we just need some dirt. Here you go. If we get dirt up here, we can just uh, do that crouch feature where you can kind of fill it all in. There you go. And this should have a bit of spray in there. Yeah. And there you go. 
perfect. And did we get all the outside? Yep. Nice. So that actually worked out really well. We got all our reactors up and running. I'm surprised we got six. I wasn't. I was thinking something stupid at first, and then I decided not to do it, of course. But I'm really happy we did six, and I think six is a good number. And it just it makes it interesting. I don't think I've ever made this many re reactors because I think back in the day they were like caustic reactors and some stupid, really ridiculous reactors. But just doing it all by hand legitimately is kind of that's kind of fun actually. I really enjoyed it, so I'm really happy about it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, not cleaning up this blast won't even affect us because it won't go downwards at this point and it can't go to the side, so it'll just blast into each other, so it's pretty safe anyways. But uh, if you want to put your glass and seal it up more, it'll be fine. Because uh, the fuse quartz, remember, it is uh, blast resistant. And I checked it with all quad cells and it was fine, so keep that in mind. I don't want you guys to you know, think, oh, you know, it's going to blow up. If it blows up, it'll, you know, screw it up. And it's a safe design, so feel free to screenshot it and grab it. It won't, it won't go up. It is a perfectly good design here. Core temp zero. So I think that rounds up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.